Please don't look for any printed titles on this film. Sidestepping the old question of what is good design, we've decided merely to say to you that this is a film about finishes for aluminum. The film is designed by Tracy Ward, Wheaton Gallantine, Richard Bagley, Frank Lewin, and by Connie Johnston, Gus Eisenman, Ernest Buchanan, Carlo Arcamone, D. and Thomas Fox, and Walter Abel. The film has been produced by On Film Incorporated for Alcoa. If there's a subject that everyone seems to have an opinion about, it's how a product should look. Fine, but can't you do something to dress it up a bit? I asked my wife, and she said we should make it pink. all the discussions, a man gets the feeling he'd better somehow find his way back to basic materials. A man with design problems, a man with an eye to the future, has no time to waste. This aluminum, this obliging metal, which can be worked by every means known to the metalworking industry, can also be finished in more ways than any other metal. What solutions to your design problems does it offer? Aluminum is a functional metal, but what textures can you specify? And how about color? When you're thinking finishes, it doesn't matter to you how many millions of gallons of water supply the power to make aluminum, or how many stacks of paperwork are involved in its distribution. It's research in color and texture and function that counts. After more than 65 years of investigation, Alcoa can tell you almost anything you'd like to know about finishes for aluminum. To sell aluminum, we've had to collect facts. We've measured colors and the thickness of coatings. facts on everything from the painted aluminum superstructure of the SS United States to the color anodized aluminum tags which trace the wandering lobster. And while you're here, we wish you'd take a look out on our roof. We've had aluminum and its alloys out here for almost 30 years. In industrial atmosphere, in use on roofs, in the sun of the Caribbean, year after year. Starting with this workable metal, how can its very workability be used to give it texture and pattern? Alcoa can tell you that aluminum and its alloys can easily be press formed into any design, rolled into many patterns, perforated or expanded, 
extruded to almost any contour, brushed to a fine texture. From doorknobs to buildings, texture on aluminum depends upon your point of view. What about aluminum in different settings? How can it be textured in relation to other textures? If you want a matte finish, you can etch it. Sandblasting. Buff it for luster. Or bright dip it. You can texture aluminum's surface in almost unlimited ways. Make it highly reflective. You can buff it, burnish it, and brighten it. For aluminum is a medium for brilliance, in itself and in other materials. Keeping brilliance or texture, aluminum has an advantage over other metals. By anodizing, you can protect it without changing its original surface appearance. When aluminum is anodized, billions of submicroscopic oxide cells start to form. They form from the metal itself. and grow to give a hexagonal cell structure of durable aluminum oxide, an integral part of the metal surface. And since the anodized surface reproduces the original surface, the metal retains whatever texture you have given it. With a different solution and treatment, the oxide cells will form even thicker walls. The result is called a hard coating, very resistant to wear and erosion. A further unique quality of aluminum is that when it is anodized, each cell of its oxide coating has a tiny pore which accepts dyes and mineral pigments. And this leads to the whole subject of color. to color by anodizing. Color may be applied on plain or anodized aluminum. It can be roller coated, silk screen with paints and inks, or with stop off as a prelude to two color anodizing.
whatever the method, aluminum is color. Anodized colors are available through the whole spectrum. There are Alcoa architectural colors, which, being part of the metal, can't chip or peel away. you'll come across many colorful anodic finishes. You'll have a bright metallic sheen if you start with a smooth surface of the right alloy. And matte colors if you start with texture or if you change the composition of the anodizing solution. Then there are porcelain finishes, highly resistant to mechanical and thermal shock. Many organic coatings can be applied when the surface is prepared correctly plastic coatings, paints, lacquers, and enamels. Aluminum is color. Aluminum is also function. thinking not so much of appearance as a function, Alcoa can tell you about an aluminum landing gear with parts hard chromium plated for wear resistance. And the edge of this helicopter rotor blade hard coated to resist erosion. If for the application you have in mind, aluminum is the material, here are some other functional finishes. Cadmium plating makes this slide more easily. Pistons are immersion coated with tin or brass to reduce friction. For the same reason, this sole plate is buff smooth. For wear resistance, these parts are hard coated or plated. Reflectivity is increased by electrochemical treatment. Silver plating increases surface conductivity. For resistance to corrosion, there are chemical and electrochemical finishes. Porcelain provides function and appearance. These finishes and many more can be part of your consideration in designing for production. Let us tell you some of the ways these finishes can be mass produced. The buffing which gives luster is mechanized whenever high rates of production are required. Aluminum is anodized with fully automatic equipment. Parts can be made from coiled strip, anodized on a continuous machine as long as two football fields. 
architectural panels or extrusions are anodized in tanks the size of boxcars. To get the finish you want, think finish at the beginning. Here's where we try to answer your questions about finishes. We can show you that on aluminum alloys, the key to electroplating lies in the surface preparation. The natural oxide film must first be replaced with a film of zinc. Then you can electroplate the surface with copper or any other metal. We'll tell you that Alcoa has developed anodic processes under the trade name Alumalite that will assure specific anodic finishes for any application. You can specify pattern in combination with Alumalite. Or you can specify extrusions to be buffed bright and Alumalite finished. colored alumilite coatings as a foundation for further painting and lacquering. Since some mill products can be anodized before forming, we'll tell you the factors which control flexibility when aluminum is pre-finished, as in this application. We'll show you various shades of colored alumilite coatings. We'll show you texture from controlled grain structure. Let you explore other possibilities. When it comes to finishes, Alcoa's tradition is, have the facts. Alcoa's philosophy is, try it. Thank you.